He was their crooked manager who stole a lot of money from them. The argument is they wouldn't have got there without him, but at the same time, they lived their life with the fame behind them, performing great music now, even though Mark Farner of Grand Funk, the band we're talking about, is on. We talk about the manager that stole so much from them, Terry Knight, Grand Funk. Here's Mark Farner, their former guitarist, lead singer, lead vocalist, and chief songwriter. You talked about the garlic. Oh my God, Mark, I got so much response from the garlic. I couldn't believe it. All of a sudden, the, the video is going 10,000, 20,000. And I look at the comments, everyone's talking about garlic. All and right. They're, and they're saying, that's how you cook it. That's right. You know, it's like you, I'm going, this guy's connecting on several levels, even with garlic, for God's sakes. <laughs> that hit people, man. Awesome. This is awesome, man. So, that's, so uh, but one of the guys who commented on the garlic said, he says, uh, he says, you know, my brother met uh, uh, Terry and he says, uh, and I just read a story this morning who said the same thing. He says he found him rather humorless. Did you find that about Terry Knight? Well, unless he was cracking a joke, it wasn't funny. <laughs> it was like we we were at a, a supper, a dinner at this nice restaurant where uh, Terry was sitting at the head of the table where he always liked to sit. And uh, one of the gals who helped him out with financing, she was a banker, uh, God bless her. And she was at the table and they were all having a little uh, toddy champagne and wine, whatever. And, and Terry took a, a patty of butter and he put it in his napkin like this, and he pops it, and it goes whoosh, straight up, and it's stuck, you know, ha, ha, ha. And he's, like, looking around to see if everybody is laughing at his little prank. So got to chuckle a lot of people, and I'm thinking, man, that's, that's disrespectful. He stuck that greasy piece of butter to the ceiling right there man who's going to clean that shit up and i'm thinking to myself and i'm looking over at him and, and the waitress comes back and she said she's talking to him and he looks over at her and his glass of water sitting there <laughs> here comes that piece of butter down from the ceiling and it hits in his water and splashes and he it, then everybody cracks up <laughs> Then it became funny. <laughs> like, oh, where did that come? And his face went flush. It's like, like, you know. Well, by the way, I was watching some videos uh, this morning of you guys on stage, and I'm going, man, I mean, you're still in great shape, but you were cut, man. You're like, geez. I was telling my son who is in, he works out every, every, almost every day. And he's like a big muscle guy, but not big, big. You know what I mean? But hey, did you exercise a lot back then? No, it was, uh, it was, you know, exercise was a stage show and I farmed. I was uh, baling hay, you know, throwing hay and you putting uh, hay bales on a conveyor. And then when you get up in the hay mow and you're throwing, you don't have a shirt on. Forget about that shirt. I mean. It's, it would just slow you down. And we would take a hose and rinse the chaff of the hay off or go jump in the lake across the street, you know, take your clothes off and dive off the tailgate of the pickup into the deepest part of the lake. You know, <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, that was a good lifestyle. I still live a farm lifestyle, but I don't bale hay like I used to, but I'm shoveling. I'm cutting firewood with a chainsaw, stacking wood, you know, splitting wood, um, doing things that takes physical activity to do. And I don't walk from one place uh, on the farm to the next place, or I don't, you know, j jump on a dirt bike and ride. I run over to the next place. I run down to the garden. I run back to the house. I run out into the woods. I run down to the shooting range and, uh, you know, because singers have to keep our air up, you know, that's 
probably the biggest thing, the endurance comes from being able to last and sing the long notes, sing them out just like you did on the record. They don't want a little short note. They want all of that note to come out. The fans appreciate that so much, brother. Remember, make sure you subscribe to our channel, join our Patreon, get early access to our videos. You can make a donation to the channel. There's a link in the very top of the description. Buy a t-shirt, spread the word. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music.